Welcome to GRE Mnemonics video number 88. A quick review of video number 87. A man who played two games at once watched a match when he was surrounded in mist. A tremor disrupts his intra-house table tennis match. The tremor caused a blaze and a civil defense rescue staff is least thrilled and yawns away. The man overindulges. He is crushed under a beer and is laid to rest near an ancient mountain. At the top of Mount Meru, a retired professor took special classes on disaster management for the civil defense staff. Let's learn and understand today's set of GRE words. Blythe Gay Joyous Carefree and Lighthearted Clue Lie and be carefree Visualize When asked if he is addicted to smoking, the boy pays little attention to the class on tobacco addiction. If you have a blithe disregard for authority, you might smile vaguely when a teacher yells at you for damaging school property. The adjective blithe used to mean happy and carefree. But over time, it has also come to describe someone who isn't paying attention the way they should. Blithesome, cheerful. Clue, some made huge sum of money from lie. Visualize. The tobacco lobby lied and made a huge sum of money and were cheerful. To be blithesome is to be happy and without a care in the world. If you feel blithesome, you might want to skip or kick your heels up in the air. When you are blissfully happy and don't have a single worry, you are blithesome. If you are blithesome, you are feeling carefree and not weighed down by the burdens or anxiety. Blemish Mark with deformity, injure or impair as anything which is excellent. Make defective either the body or mind. Clue Blame for pimple. Visualize the boy now blames oily food for his pimples. The classic example of a blemish is a pimple or other mark on your skin, but you can call any small defect a blemish, like a wormhole in an apple or a scrape on the side of your car. A blemish is a small flaw. A flaw or fault in your personality or morals can also be called a blemish. Bleak Cold or cheerless Unlikely to be favorable Clue Leak in the mid of sea Visualize, his lighted cigarette burned a hole in his boat. His boat leaked in the mid of the sea. If you and the 10 people sharing your lifeboat have been adrift for 10 days and are down to the, your last cracker, your situation is bleak. Something bleak is gloomy and depressing. A near synonym is dismal. Bleak is from Middle English bleak, which means white. Pale. This word is related to the English word bleach. Blatant. Flagrant. Conspicuously obvious. Loudly offensive. Clue. Loud offensive music from a tent. Visualize. A loud music from the tent beyond permitted hours woke up the boy from his dream. Don't get caught in a blatant lie because you won't be able to weasel your way out of it. Something blatant is very obvious and offensive. Blatant act, acts are done without trying to hide them. The adjective is probably from Latin blatirare as in to chatter or croak or from Latin blatire 
as in to chatter or gossip. A near synonym is flagrant. So let's summarize using this short story. When asked if he is addicted to smoking, the boy pays little attention to the class on tobacco. The tobacco lobby who fed the boy lied and made a vast sum of money and were cheerful. The boy now blames oily food for his pimples. His lighted cigarette burned a hole in his boat. His boat leaked in the mid of the sea. Loud music from the tent beyond permitted hours woke up the boy and the story turned out to be a dream. Now it's time for quiz. Do you remember the word for flagrant, conspicuously obvious, loudly offensive? Do you remember the meaning of the word blatsam? Do you remember the word as well as the meaning associated with this mnemonic? We hope you got all three of them right. In case you haven't, please feel free to watch the video again. Let us know about your experience here till we meet next with the next set of GRE words. Thank you.